Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for, the, for all signs and it will be for April the 6th, 2021. Remember my readings can resonate a few days after when they're released. So let's see what we have. What is the first message? Okay. Love this. We have rising above. I see only beauty and grace. Now we've got the lotus flower here which is a symbol of spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. So it definitely feels like something is opening up for you. Okay, what do we have? What do we have, angels? What is the message for the sixth? Okay, so interesting. I've got meditation brings answers. You may well be finding some answers from within. Um, yeah. Absolutely beautiful energy. It feels definitely some light direction. So let's see what we get with the cards. So what do we have, please? What do we have for the day? Tuesday the 6th of April 2021, please. Thank you. First card is out. Okay. Five of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. The Hermit. You know, I definitely felt that with that card. I was going to say it, it reminded me of the Hermit card. The Meditation Brings Answers. Okay. And we have the Eight of Cups here. And the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Death card. I'm going to pull an extra card. Let's pull a card to clarify the Death card. Just one card, please. Let's clarify the Death card, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. The 6th of April, 2021. What do we have, please? The chariot. Okay. So there is an energy of rising above. You're soon going to be rising above a situation. I definitely get that energy because, you know, it's interesting that hermit energy finding inner direction answers from within and how you need to now take action in your external environment it is a card of alignment and it's because there has been some lost regret something that's happened here that was difficult to move on from as this person still stares at the negative the cups that are spilt they don't see the opportunity in the present you know the two cups that are still full so there is definitely an energy of whatever this is this is a card of healing alignment raising your vibration from within and being illuminated by source in how you need to take action move forward now now the nine of pentacles is a card of it, it is a card of abundance it is a card of material success Um, but it's also a card of self-worth, self-esteem. And it feels in this situation, this eight of, of cups. I mean, you know, this can represent you walking away from something or someone, then walking away from you. You know, this is a card of independence as well. But this nine of pentacles is somebody who feels pretty good in their own skin, in their own situation. Interestingly enough, it's also Virgo energy and it feels like you're ready to move on from whatever this was um, because this is somebody who's turning their back on disappointment. So definitely I'm getting this energy of emotionally moving on. Um, if this has been to do with love, romance, relationships, this is somebody who is standing in their own right, in their own light, healed, knowing their self-worth, self-esteem. It's also a card of material success. Um, you know, providing financially for yourself, uh, you know, feeling capable in every aspect, practical aspect to, to bring the abundance 
into your life. That's definitely the energy there. But it feels like you're ready to move on from disappointment. You found the illumination on how you need to deal with the situation and move on from it. And here's the thing. That death card, and I, I'm going to go here. The death card is wonderful because it is a card of out with the old, in with the new. It is the card of rising. Uh, it's the phoenix rising. It's a card of Scorpio. There's definitely an energy of deep transformation here, out with the old, in with the new. You're ready to shed an old skin. This is a cathartic energy, a cleansing, a purifying energy as well. So I'm definitely seeing in this energy, I'm ready to shed an old skin, turn my back in disappointment, and feel pretty good in my own light, standing on my own two feet. Now, there's definitely an energy with a chariot of victory and success. The chariot comes when we face challenge or obstacles. That can be our own internal energy. The chariot can be an internal journey too. And I'm feeling in this energy, certainly with the five of cups, with the hermit, some of you have had difficulty in de dealing with an emotional situation that has been difficult to move on from the past. And this is absolutely, I'm ready to conquer it and overcome that. Because the chariot in one sense can be where we overcome the blocks within ourselves. So it's a lovely card of victory and success. But yes, this can be a card of victory and success. Um, eyes on the prize, claiming some kind of significant victory. And it feels because you're ready to embrace the new possibility. And the new is ready to come to you. Because there is some positive shift here. The eight of wands. Yes, this can be to do with distance or travel. Some of you may be looking at travel. Um... This is a card of swift change. It can be a card of conversations, um, communication. So again, sometimes I see the card as, for example, it, for me, it can represent networking, communicating, um, opportunity coming in. It's a great energy of just things moving forward. And it's a good empowering energy with the one's energy progress, things shifting forward. Um, could be as a, as a result of some communication conversations. Now, there's definitely a message of the shift is coming because we have the three of wands, which is your ships are coming in. They're not quite there yet, but there's definitely an energy. And it's interesting I was saying this because this is a card of expansion. Things are opening up for you. You can see the first signs of success coming your way. You're not quite there yet, but it definitely feels in this situation that there's something good coming. Um, it's a great anticipatory energy. You've taken action to turn your back on the past. And the black cloak is changing to the red cloak, which is beautiful. And it's by your action, by your focus, by your understanding of this is what I deserve. You know, getting what I deserve. Um, standing in my own success, standing in my own self-worth, self-esteem. There's definitely an energy of, if there has been some disappointment, it definitely feels in this situation, I'm moving towards something better, which is what the Eight of Cups does. It moves towards the Nine of Cups because I deserve more. You know, it's definitely this energy that could be in terms of money, that could be in terms of uh, relationships. So there's definitely something good coming here. Now, for some of you, you know, I can see online dating, distance communication, whatever that means to you. That could be to do with jobs, you know, career. Um, some of you may well be planning some overseas travel as well. Uh, definitely seeing that or you might be looking to move, you know, it's that kind of thing. I definitely feel things are beginning to open up for you. So I'm so pleased that this came up because, you know, the rising above a situation, it feels you are. It feels you are the phoenix rising. Whoever this resonates for, there's definitely an energy of the phoenix rising. I'm ready to shed an old skin out with the old in with a new. And I'm embracing the deep transformation now and ready for the new to come because it is coming. Very lovely energy. So I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message, please, for the day angels spirits guides any other message for the day please
Any other message for the day? Thank you. Thank you. Recovery. I mean, I've got the Four of Swords. Um, yeah, it's definitely a card of it's a card of recovery. So I'm definitely seeing this. Uh, it is definitely an energy of recovery. You know, there's definitely been some healing here, or some alignment. You know, giving some deep thought to a situation, recovering, and allowing yourself to move on. So it definitely feels like this is the road to recovery, and it definitely feels like the new is opening up to you. Absolutely beautiful reading. So I'm going to pull a final fairy card. Message for the day, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for the day. Thank you. Oh my goodness, what did it say? <laughs> Talking about light, we've got light. <laughs> the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Somebody has seen the light. It could be to do with some communication helping move you forward here um things are opening up because maybe there's some communication opportunity a person a connection today but it definitely feels like what it's uh it's a catalyst for change and it's positive change because it is allowing you to put the old situation behind you and to move towards the new um and something good is coming. You know, there's definitely an energy of your ships are coming in. So you will have a chance to rise above a situation that has kept you a little bit stuck, you know, stuck in the past. But you're recovering. You're recovering. So beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all. And I will see you next time. Thank you.